What is going on guys? Vicente Yante with another video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Make sure you all are being safe in this crazy world that we're living in as we speak. <laughs> Obviously COVID-19 is still in full effect unfortunately and it has not gone anywhere. So I just want to make sure that everyone is being safe and um, Merry Christmas to all of you because Christmas is coming up this coming Friday. And for those of you who do celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. Happy holidays, while the merry bells keep ringing. Happy holidays to you. There you go. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, guys, merry Christmas, happy holidays for those of you who do celebrate Christmas. So, yeah. And in case you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. And... Um, turn on notifications so anyway uh, shout outs go to Brian x 64 <laughs> shout out goes to you Vato. shout out goes to Mike gamer Mike awesome as I like to call him shout out goes to Richard loves tuna as well as another shout out a special shout out goes to random bits of randomness this YouTube uh, this YouTube channel is amazing the content that is uploaded is just really cool in fact, uh, I wanted to share a story real quick. The uh, the person behind the channel, his wife, uh, she's actually a really good friend of mine. Uh, she's one of my co-workers at HEB. She's really awesome. So, um, yeah, very great channel, guys. Keep up the good work and uh, keep them videos coming. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they do live streams and they also do, like, you know, a lot, a lot of fun content, which I really like. So make sure to give them a, a – get them a – Give them a sub. Uh, give give them a sub. Subscribe to their channel and um, uh, yeah, they're really awesome. Uh, shout out goes to random bits of randomness. So yeah, as far as the contents of this video, we're gonna be talking about the year, like pretty much how the entire year of 2020 has been. So pretty much like giving you like my experiences within this year. And how I think this year has been a bit of a crap storm, for the lack of a better term. So, yeah, guys, I'm actually going to try not to swear so much in my videos. I know a lot of times I, something like with, with wrestling or whatever, or in video games, if I mess up too many, if I mess up too many times, I tend to swear. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to cut back on that. I know, you know... <laughs> A lot of people might not like all the, you know, the, I know that might turn some people off to my videos, you know, so, you know, I'm going to try to cut back on that. No promises, though. I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm going to try to cut back on the swearing in my videos. Again, not, I'm not promising anything, but, you know, I'm going to try not to because, um, yeah. So as far as um, the contents of this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about the the year and pretty much talking about the future of the Vicente Yante YouTube channel. It's funny, I've been on this platform since 20, uh, 2018. And at first, I wasn't able to make videos with my face on them. Ever since I bought the PlayStation camera, I've been able to use ShareFactory to upload these videos. And every now and then, I'll use my smartphone to record videos of like DVD reviews and things of that nature. So, yeah. So, and, But I, again, guys, like I said... You know, I try to, you know, maintain, like, certain content. I know a lot of people are probably getting tired of me playing Mega Man ZX and, you know, Street Fighter. You know, I'm running... Sometimes, guys, you know, you run out of ideas. And that's why sometimes I play the same game. Because, you know, I'm trying to keep content here on, on the channel. So, again, you know, if, if I play the same game... I'm trying not to do that as much anymore. I know ZX Advent, I had trouble the first time I streamed it, and I just kept messing up, and I just I was getting really annoyed, so and I was getting also really ticked off. I'm like, darn it, you know. Well, I didn't say darn it in the video, but I was swearing left and right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna try to cut back on that. Like I said, no promises though. So, um, but anyway, but as far as the content for the future goes. I want to make some more WWE DVD reviews, like from back in the 2000, 2001 era. Because I have pretty much every DVD, every WWE pay-per-view that you can think of. I mean, ever since like 2016 was when I finally finished my collection. And I got every single WWE pay-per-view from like 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, you know, the whole nine yards. So, um, 
I'm gonna try to make some more videos reviewing those DVDs and possibly some more um, like maybe some movie reviews of some DVDs of movies that I have. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, um, and yes, it's been a, it's it's already been made official, guys. Next week I move into the new apartment that we signed up for. So this will be the last time you'll see me in this room that I'm sitting in right now. So probably at the beginning of the year. It's when I'll finally, you know, I'll make a video showing off like the new setup and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. So um, the video, we're going to be talking about the year in review from January 2020 all the way to the present day and the future. So um, January 2020 started off normal. I remember I made a video of my New Year's, uh, I, I had a New Year's bash here at my house. Uh, my uncles were also in the video. Um, it was it was a great time, a great New Year's uh, celebration. Um, I actually went to bed early because I had to go to work on New Year's Day. So, you know, it wasn't really a big giant party per se, but it was a party nonetheless. So, um, January 2020 was a great month. I finally beat Mega Man 9 and 10, and of course, you know, I, I was pretty, you know, I was excited about that. I made a video where I beat Mega Man 9 and 10, then I even streamed those two games, so, um, but the biggest highlight for me in the month of January was when I went to the Royal Rumble, when, I, when me and my good buddy Omen, along with Richard, we went to go see the Royal Rumble. Great time, that's the night when Edge made his triumphant return, even though he didn't win the Royal Rumble. But he made a one hell of an impact. And then Drew McIntyre would go on to win it all. He would go on to win it all. Boom. You know, headline WrestleMania. We'll get to that shortly. And uh, it was great. Royal Rumble was great. And uh, I remember me and Richard made plans to watch WrestleMania at his house. But we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, February was... Well, before we get to February, I would hear some talks about... The coronavirus and I would be like eh, that that crap ain't coming over here there's no way you know I, I just laugh it off I would just laugh it off it was like yeah you know whatever haha ha, you know it's not gonna come over here in February I would hear mentions of it here and there from co-workers and whatnot because I don't I don't watch the news guys so I just go by what my friends at work say <clears throat> even some sometimes on Facebook they would post some things or whatever but I would just ignore it I would just eh, it's it's not coming over here that's baloney you know it's BS <laughs> So around late February, me and Richard went to go see a Swedish band by the name of Opeth. Really, really good band. I, I recommend you guys go check them out. One of my favorite albums is Damnation. Make sure to check that album out. I promise you, you will love it. You'll thank me later. Trust me, it's a really good album. Um, uh, we went to go see Opeth as well as Graveyard. Really good concert. Really great show. Me and Richard, had a, we had a ball. We had a really good time at that show. And not to mention... We met all the members of Opeth, every single one, even the lead singer. We actually had a chance to talk with the lead singer. I actually got a picture of him on my phone where me and Richard took a picture with him. So uh, really, really great time. Um, he was very friendly, very outgoing. You know, I even had a chance to tell him that my favorite album by them was Damnation. And, and, and then he, this is what he had to say. <laughs> this is what he had to say. He's like, is that the best shit you've ever heard? And I remember we had a, we had a couple of laughs. It was pretty cool. So um, Opeth is they're really nice nice people. I'm glad I got a chance to go see them. And by the way, that was the final social gathering that we actually had, because literally a week later, well before we get to that, leap year 2020 was great. Me and Richard hung out. We ate pizza. We drank beer. We had a good time. Listened to some good music. Good time. Good time. That was our final like social gathering that we had. And then literally a week later, boom, COVID-19. Like the first few weeks of March was when it just got worse. And when they shut down the rodeo, that's when I knew that this was no joke. I knew for a fact that once they shut down the rodeo and the restaurants and everything, I knew for a fact that this coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, I knew that it was a severe threat and everybody had to take it seriously. Yeah, they shut down restaurants, they shut down bars. Some places are still shut down as we speak. And um, it was a crazy time. And then they initiated a shutdown from for the city of Houston. 
and it just got worse. Cases began to pile up, and then finally my boss man pulled me aside and said, hey, we think it's best that you take some time off from work because this virus is getting worse. You know, we don't want nothing to happen to you. We love you dearly. And that's when they recommended that I take some time off with pay. So I got paid while I was here at home, which was very, very good. And um, the month of April was just really, really bad. It was, we couldn't go anywhere without wearing masks. Even as of today, we're still wearing masks in public. You know, we had to remain six feet apart from each other. It was really tough. And um, it was just, it, it was a really rough month. April and May were, were really tough to work through. Thankfully, I was able to go back to work in mid-May. And then, of course, June, the whole George Floyd incident took place, among the other incidents that took place, you know, earlier this year. It was, it was really, really rough. And then, you know, July, August, the cases of COVID-19 began to slowly slowly increase and it just got you know it was out of control for for a while there for like for that period it was just really rough september kind of quieted down as far as the covid cases i actually went to richard's house in september we hung out we had a few beers i came back home and you know that was it that was the last i saw him was back in september so um uh it was really rough i mean october wasn't too bad i mean it was it was okay Last month was not too bad, and as we speak now, December, you know, it's it's still here. COVID is still here. You know, the social distancing is still a big, it's, it's still a big thing. Masks in public is still a thing. I don't know when we're going to get rid of that. Maybe not for a while, but I don't know. I don't know. I just hope within the next year, I'm hoping by the summer we'll be back to normal, but I doubt it. Some people say even until 2023, but I hope not. But something to think about guys something to think about so um this has been a really rough year for a lot of people a lot of people have lost their jobs many people have lost their lives due to covid thankfully and i'm i'm blessed i'm blessed that what the hell's that that was weird I don't know if you guys heard that. Somebody outside just came hauling, hauling behind, hauling ass right in front of my, right in front of my house. Here is crazy. Yeah, sorry. You know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna promise anything, but I'm gonna try not to swear. <laughs> but I, I felt like I had, you know, it just, it just came out. Sorry. So, uh, yes, guys, I do. Twin, I do tend to swear a lot. I'm trying to cut back, but it's hard. <laughs> my whole family, my whole family, they curse left and right. <laughs> so anyway, now, nah, but enough of that. But. Um, I guess time will tell. Hopefully within the next year, we hope that, you know, I'm pretty optimistic, hopefully that everything will be back to semi-normality. But again, I don't know. Time will tell. So as we speak now, I mean, like I said, next week, I'm going to be moving into the new, well, me and my grandma, my sister and my uncle, we're going to be moving into the new apartment. So, you know, I'm glad, finally, because there was a period where we were struggling to try to find a place. Thankfully, we did. And we should be settled in by next week. Maybe uh, I'll be able to make a video as soon as before the new year. No promises, though, but we'll see. So, yeah, guys. So, this year has been rather weird and tough and, in most cases, Severe, and I'm, I'm I'm very thankful, guys. I have not contracted the virus. I'm thankful that none of my family members have contracted the virus. You know, because COVID is no joke. It's very very serious, guys. It's a serious threat. People don't seem to take it seriously like they should. I remember I was on YouTube and I was watching Richard's video where he was at his local park, and there were people literally not not practicing their distancing. They were not wearing their masks. They were having gatherings. It's like. It's because of you people why the, system, why the system is the way it is. It's because of those kind of people that don't want to follow the rules, you know? And there are some people that are stubborn as all hell. They don't want to listen to anybody. Oh, I don't care. I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> okay. Oops, sorry. I had a burp. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, sorry. Hopefully the camera didn't pick that up. But if it did, I, I apologize. But yeah, a lot of people nowadays, especially the youngsters... They really don't care about the rules. They're like, oh, I don't, I don't give the, I don't give a f. I'll go out there without my mask. I don't care. I'll do what I want to do. I do what I do. I, I'm, I'm being me. 
well, all right, well, if you catch the virus, that's all, that's going to be on you, buddy. You know, you, you need to think about things like that. Think about the people you live with, you know? So, yeah, guys, I take this virus very seriously. And for those people who don't, I suggest you start. You should be, you better start because I'm telling you right now, you know, this is no joke, you know? So, sorry if you hear music in the background. It's actually my sister. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, guys, I uh, just wanted to make, make sure, to, I wanted to make this video just to make sure, you know, I wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, just in case I don't make one on that day, because like I said, we're going to be really busy with the move and whatnot, so, yeah, I still need to pack the, the rest of my DVDs and whatnot, but I'll wait to do that, like, probably either tomorrow or Monday, so, alright, guys, well, uh, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video, again, I hope... You guys have a safe and merry Christmas, and uh, make sure you're make sure you're being safe. That's the most important thing because safety is our number one concern. You dig? <laughs> so I love you all to death. Uh, thank you very much for sticking with me. Thank you to my uh, 300 plus subscribers. Um, and again, uh, for those you know, I, I just want to let you know that you know if you're new to, if you're new to the channel. And I, sh I probably should have said this in the beginning, but better late than never. If you're new to the channel, please, guys, no haters needed. Let's all be cool. Let's all get along. It's the season to be jolly. It's it's Christmas season. I mean, let's let's not be cruel to each other. Just because you don't like a person's content on YouTube, don't freaking harass them. Don't bully them. Don't don't try to make fun of the way they their eyes. Like for me, I've, I've gotten a lot of people back back in the day like not back in the day but a few months back they'd make fun of my eyes and how they move guys like i said i have no control over that i was born with a vision disability it is what it is you know if it, it happens it happens so again let's not make fun of each other just because we have certain things going on because that that just makes that, that just makes the person doing the bullying that makes them a bad person so let's not do that let's all be let's all be nice to each other it's freaking christmas season let's all be friends so again guys thank you for watching this video uh like the video uh subscribe if you haven't already and um yeah and and, and if you if you're a wrestling fan leave it in the comments and say which year you would like to see me review the wwe dvds because i my i think my first video of the year will probably be i, I want to say like my first like video where I review something, it'll probably be like around mid January. I don't know, maybe mid or late January, because I do I do want to make a video where I you know wish everybody a happy new year, or whatever. So stay tuned for that. So, but as far as like my review videos, that'll probably be taking place like once I get fully settled. So probably around mid January, I'll make that video reviewing uh, the WWE DVD. But I'm gonna leave it up to the wrestling fans who are subscribers. Which which year would you like to see me review? Like, what, what what would be the preferred year of WWE or WWF that you would like to see me review? As long as it's uh, past 2000 or 2001, because I don't have any of, like, the 80s and all that stuff. So, uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching. We're getting ready to wrap up the video. So, uh, again, once again, I know I sound like a broken record, but again, let's all be safe. Let's have a happy and Merry Christmas, and God bless you all. Be safe, and I shall see you next time. All right, guys, take care. Love you to death. Thank you for sticking with me, and again, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Adios, amigos. <laughs> take care, you guys.